I'm uh, Joey810 from prismli.com uh, website and forum. I'm one of the administrators there. Um, I'm going to uh, demonstrate how to install a antenna for your house. Um, I have a uh, Hustler G6 450-3 antenna. It's specifically designed for 460 and 470 megahertz. Um, and we're going to, uh, I have currently have an Ed Fong antenna on my 10-foot mast, and we're going to change it out with the Hustler antenna, which I'm going to show you shortly. This is the Hustler G6450-3 antenna. Um, I'm going to mount it. Currently, I have a Ed Fong antenna uh, on a 10-foot mast, and we're going to swap that out today. All right, now we're going to go on the roof and uh, try and install that bad boy. So let me go on the roof here. I did it. I'm on the roof. <laughs> Not so bad. A little windy. I'm not sure if you can hear it, but it's a little windy in there. So I already lowered the antenna from the, uh, I have an extension ladder down here, and I was able to easily get to the screws here to loosen up the uh, mount. So what I did was I did that so I could easily get to this section here where I need to get to to uh, install a new antenna. So, uh, so stand by. So all it is is just easily just loosen these bolts, take off the uh, tape for the uh, antenna, and that's pretty much it. So I'm going to uh, do that now. Stand Got the by. first pipe clamp on on the antenna. I'm about to uh, add another two. So there's three of them on here, but I'm going to put it in the opposite direction. So as you can see, this one is like that. This one's going to go this way, around that way, and then the other one's going to go around the other way. So uh, that was a difficult thing to do because I'm by myself, so it's difficult. So anyway, stand by. I'll do the rest of them. Okay, I got the uh, three clamps on the. This is a aluminum conduit from uh, Home Depot. All right, so now I got all three clamps on it, and I already waterproofed. This is a um, N male. To uh, SO239. SO, actually, SO239 connector. And I, I don't know why it's not focusing. Hello. There we go. And um, has an SO259 connector, and then the antenna connects to the antenna that way. So we're going to waterproof this up now. So, uh, so we're waterproofing the uh, connection of the antenna. And uh, the proper way to do it, so I'm a little bit out of breath going up that ladder. The proper way to do it is to use rubber and then electrical tape on top of that. However, I cannot find my rubber to wrap it around. So what I like to do is I like to t cut small pieces of electrical tape. It's difficult to get around the back and this thing without getting the electrical tape to be all tangled up. So what I like to do is when I'm putting it on, it's a little windy up here, is to put it on like so. If I can get this right, it's a little windy up by myself. As you can see, I put a little hanging off on the end here, and I seal it up here, and then I wrap it around, and I make the seal perfect. And I do it in, in strips of like two and a half inches, just so I can make it around the connector to waterproof this. And I got to continue all the way down here. It's difficult to do it when I'm holding the camera, or rather my phone. But uh, you get the idea. It's like two and a half, two and a half inches, maybe two inches, just enough to wrap around this thing to make a perfect seal. And do that a couple of times. It should prevent it from peeling over the. What years. it looks like from the ground. I just came down. Let me do a little zoom in. I just did a radio check with uh, 853 Tom, and he heard me with no trouble whatsoever. Um, I still got to go up like eight feet. 
So hoping to do some simplex communication with him. So we'll see how this works. The antenna to the left, if you're curious, is the Ed Fong uh, uh, dual band antenna. Um, most of us on Prism LI are ham operators. So uh, we run uh, dual radios usually from our homes. And now the I'll be right back. antenna is fully installed, waterproof the connections, made the wire, to, uh, all the cabling nice and neat. I have to go, still go down and finish, tidy up down, down below because the wire, as you can see, is sticking out a little bit there. So I gotta, you know, fish it down, make it look pretty. But this is a aluminum uh, mast from Home Depot, just under fourteen dollars. Looks pretty good. I'm happy with the the installation. Plenty of uh, clamps on there to prevent that from moving. So please visit www.prismli.com I'm uh, one of the repeater owners uh, for Prism and uh, we have uh, other repeaters in uh, Babylon and uh, St. James. Uh, please visit our forum at www.prismli.com slash forum and uh, we could uh, help you out set up some uh, stuff. 73s.